Pirate is a WPA cracking tool that allows you to use your computer's CPU or GPU to greatly increase the speed at which you can crack a password. We'll show you how it works with a simple Wi-Fi hacking game on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Pirate is a tool for cracking WPA passwords that allows us to take advantage of our computer's GPU and CPU to burn through giant password lists with ease. In order to do this, we'll need to have Python installed on our computer, and we'll also need to understand a little bit about the way that Wi-Fi works to take advantage of what it can do. Now, when a new device connects to a network, it needs to exchange a hashed version of the password for the network to prove that it actually has permission to join. If we're nearby and we have a card that's in wireless monitor mode, we're able to intercept this and using a program like Pirate, have a large password list that basically compares against the hash over and over and over really quickly and determines whether or not we have a success. If we do, that means we have the password and we can log in whenever we want, which is kind of the point of this exercise. And today we'll be using these two ESP8266 microcontrollers to show how it can be done without using deauthing. Now, deauthing is often used to grab a WPA handshake because it forces somebody off the network, but it's also technically a denial of service attack and it could get you in trouble if you're just doing a little wireless CTF or if you're doing this on campus or something like that. So we wanted to show you an example that doesn't involve deauthing at all and is a great way for you to test WPA cracking without getting in trouble. Now, what these are doing is this one's creating a wireless access point and this one is frequently joining it, which means that we can listen in and grab the handshake when the first one joins the second and attempt to log in and then set the flag. Now, this is a game we created called the Chicken Man Game, and it's a really good way to take advantage of Pirate or any other WPA cracking tool and learn it in a safe environment. Now, to play the game, you'll have to have two ESP8266 type devices, which are programmable in Arduino, and you'll also have to have a computer that can be put into wireless monitor mode. You'll also need to have either a Linux or macOS computer because this does not work on Windows. Once you have all of this installed, you can check out the Nullbyte article linked in the description if you have any problems and you need to troubleshoot. Once all this is set up, then we can begin. Hey Bytes, in 2019, YouTube started enforcing a ban on instructional hacking. And as a result, we started getting warnings and even a strike on some of our content. Now, in order to make sure we didn't get taken off YouTube entirely, we had to move some of the more problematic videos over to the Nullbyte website. Now, I understand this is a little bit annoying, but you can still access the content by checking out the link below and in the description. Thanks for understanding. And there we go. We are connected to the web interface and we can see we can pick which team we want to turn the LED on for. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select the red team. And that should go ahead, yep, and turn on the red LED on our game piece. There we go. We have successfully hacked this Wi-Fi network and turned this game piece over to our team, which is just one way that we can test out Pirate and see how easy it is to crack Wi-Fi passwords. While we've only shown a basic example of what Pirate can do, with the proper GPU, it can do a lot more. Using CUDA, we can take advantage of the CPU and the GPU together in order to do what we just did in a fraction of the time. If you're having any problems installing Pirate, you can check out the Nullbyte article linked in the description to help with any troubleshooting. And if you want to check out this cool Wi-Fi hacking game, you can check out the chickenmangame.com to play it. That's all we have for this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any thoughts or ideas for future episodes, send me a message on Twitter, because I'd love to hear from you. We'll see you next time.